Dear Diary, this is day 16 of my perfume countdown to Chinese New Year. I really have to do this really, really quite fast, my dear diary. So from today onwards, I would be calling my channel Wendy's Perfume Diary. Um, because this would be like a note to my future self, something like a diary to my future self about fragrances to try further when I'm older and when I'm more experienced. So this today I will be talking about um, a perfume by Emmes. It's Unjordan Unjordan Sur la Lagune, if I'm not mistaken. So this is supposed to be an English garden. A secret English garden behind walls and it's built above the water. So based on Fragrantica there are a few notes listed, not so many, just like the, the other fragrances in this line, the um, Jordan the Jordan line. So this fragrance has the note of this flower. I can't pronounce the name of the flower but it but it looks very small and it has the scent of orange almost like orange blossom. So, yeah, I believe that's the thing that gives this fragrance its magic. You know, on me, it definitely smells lemony, orangey, like zesty, and a little bit sweet. Just a little bit from the pop of this lemon juice, you know. It, is, it smells like you squeeze this lemon pop, and you put the lemon away, and then you sniff your finger. So it smells as tasty and as sweet, as juicy, as sour, as, as like that. So other than the citrusy note, I do get the white flower note. It's a mixture of all of these sparkling white flowers as if it has been. It has been in the wind, it has been in the sun for some time. And when the wind blows, the wind sort of carries that scent to, to, you know, to, to go beyond the walls and enters my nostril. So there I get the secret note, the secret citrus note from this English garden. I, I, I thought it is some lemon, some orange, some citrus fruit, some grapefruit, but it's not really. So it is that, it is that, it is that flower that is hidden from sight. So I guess that's the secret part of this whole English garden thing built above the water. And I do get that, that watery note, but um, I would say that I don't get sea marine note. It gives me the feeling of like some kind of waterfall. It's like, you know, when you when you go to waterfall, you get this cool sensation, like you're dipping your feet into this water, into this running water, and the whole temperature just go, you know, when it's very hot, but you just jump into the waterfall, and it's very refreshing, it's very na natural, it's like you are sitting in one of the best natural scenes in the world, one of the best natural places in the world. So I do get that marine kind of like watery you note, but not anywhere near a beach, not anywhere near a pond it's where the water kind of runs still, and where the beach where it's very hot and the sand and the beach, no, I don't get that, I do get this very very refreshing almost green feeling oh not to forget the green note i do get a little bit of green note in the beginning of this fragrance so it gives me the impression of being near some kind of some kind of citrus garden behind the wall that you know the wall that separates me from that secret garden and it's quite frustrating because I get the scent, but I can't really see what's inside. And I, I don't get any sea, I don't get any lagoon smell. But what I get is this foresty, waterfall kind of smell. So, hmm, my baby is crying down there. I have to rush down there for my baby. And when my baby grows up and he will see this, see this video clip, my perfume diary next in the next 20 years, I hope I hope that he won't be angry with me, that he would enjoy fragrance as much as I do. So if you if you if you are pipping in my if you're pipping if you're pipping this video, if you're pipping into my diary, well, you can and until you I mean you, you can. I give you permission to do that. But you must subscribe. Okay, see you next time. Bye.